You are now tuned in to Go Time Dolphins with Charlie Touche and Kadeem Simmons, the Miami Dolphins podcast that's for the fans and by the fans. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. And it's your time. Going all out when it's go time. I ain't wasting no time. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. Cause it's your time. Lay it on the line when it's go time. Don't waste no time. Two thousand twenty two NFL free agency. Keep the news coming. Miami Dolphins updates. Your one stop shop is Go Time Dolphins. You already. The Miami Dolphins podcast that goes not only across the pond, but across the world. I'm Charlie Touche. I got my co host Kadeem Simmons with me. It's always for the fans and by the fans. And we got some more signings. Chase Edmonds, running back from Arizona Cardinals, Kadeem. Uh, this is not a bad signing. And it's actually pretty cool, actually. Like, oh, we're thinking outside the box. And, you know, we got Coach Mike McDaniel here, the, the offensive genius, the running coordinator. Man, he might be able to shake something with Chase Edmonds. What you think? Yeah, definitely. I'm sure there will be a lot of people who will be like, why didn't he get Saquon Barkley for four for that? This mean we're not getting someone the first or second, all that kind of stuff. I think I think this is a nice piece. The contract um isn't too much. Um, shout out to Dolphin UK for giving us some stats. Um, Schefter says the contract is a two year, twelve point six mil deal that includes six point one in guarantees. Um, Dolphin UK got the you know got the stats there straight away. As you can see, through four years in Arizona, 333 carries, 1,551 yards, nine touchdowns. But I also like he's a receiving back, you know, 128 receptions, 921 yards, five touchdowns. Um, It definitely adds some competition into the room. Um, I think the one thing we've all said about Mike McDaniel is that his offensive scheme doesn't need a genuine, you know, best in the world running back. He's been getting production out of, I don't want to say no-name guys, but guys who people aren't really that high on. And listen, it's it it's a nice deal. Whether we get, what we get out of him remains to be seen, but nice time on the radar signing, um, you know, on top of the Ogba stuff, you've addressed running back straight away. It allow, you know, weapons for tour. That's what we said, weapons, weapons for two and hopefully Chase Edmonds gives us the one game that we need going forward. Chase Edmonds is not a bad running back. He's not. He got injured and James Conner took his spot in Arizona, but before James Conner came in, it was the Chase Edmonds show. Chase Edmonds actually, I want to say he replaced David Johnson, and then they brought, I kind of I kind of feel like they brought somebody else out there, and Chase Edmonds, uh, Edmonds was the one who, like, nah, bro, this, this is my job. So you have to think you're going to trust Mike McDaniel with whatever running back he comes in with. If, if Mike McDaniel gives you the sign of a, the seal of approval as a running back, I trust him, right? So for a deal, this deal to be $6 million per, it kind of tells me that he's going to get his touches. So for all the fantasy football heads out there, which I probably should have kept this one to myself, but yeah, for all the fantasy football heads out there, Chase Edmonds is going to get his touches. However, this does not mean we're finished at running back. See what I'm saying? So don't be surprised if, if you see a Raheem Mostert still come in at $2 million a season, right? Or don't, don't be surprised if you see the, the Dolphins still go get a running back in, in, in a draft or a trade for one. What this does is it secures running back for now. So if we go to the draft and we don't get a running back, at least you have Chase Edmonds. And if you look at the previous two seasons, you have Malcolm Brown. That was supposed to be Malcolm Brown's role. Uh, the season before that, that was supposed to be Jordan Howard's role. And I know neither one of them hit. So it's not great that he's in that company. But again, we use this terminology a lot on this podcast. It's a Band-Aid piece. It's not a long-term solution. He's supposed to be able to bridge the next running back coming in for the uh, – for our future. So Chase Edmonds, another signing for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, 
We're going to have free agent updates by the minute. Every time there's an update, check out Go Time Dolphins. We'll we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you up up to speed, up to date. Um, Agba, Chase Edmonds, 2022 NFL free agency. Go Time Dolphins. You already know. You, you got something else, Kadeem? Very quickly, um, you mentioned Ogba and Edmund. With those two deals kind of in the bank, Miami seems to have just over $25 million left um, to make more moves. Now, that's obviously we haven't cut no one. You might see a few deals restructured and stuff like that. But $25 million to go and get what we believe two offensive linemen and a wide receiver doesn't give you much. But, you know, we'll see how it, how, how it pans out. At least the Dolphins have been active early on, I guess. So we tendered Nick Needham as well as Savon Ahmed. And what that does is, again, it holds holds a position. It holds a spot. Because if, if you let Needham go, you have to replace Needham. So the, to get Needham in back in the building for, for pennies on the dollar, in my opinion, it's a, it's a good thing. Now, I second what you just said. We're not done spending. Yeah, we might have 25 right now. But there's going to be some pieces moved around. There's going to be some pieces cut. There's going to be some players traded. I mean, you got the over under trade going on. Whoever loses this one has to uh, has to uh, supply a giveaway. Go time Dolphins giveaway. You know we're good for giveaways. Shout out to Jakeem Grant for letting us give away his gloves. Shout out to Javon Holland for letting him uh, letting us give away his autographed game worn cleats. Uh, we got some more giveaways coming up fairly quickly. Uh, pre-draft actually so you guys stay tuned keep keep us keep us locked in for updates 2022 free agency it's it's a uh, i won't say it's exciting but we'll see what happens man y'all know what time it is stay positive test negative for kadeem simmons i'm charlie touche thank you for tuning in this time make sure you catch us next time on go time all ready podcast that's for the fans and by the fans gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time and it's show time going all out when it's go time go, go. i ain't wasting no time gotta make them lose their mind when it's show time cause it's your time lay it on the line when it's go time go, go. don't waste no time